Hello, it's Rachel. I hope you're well. I'm going to do a food haul for you. Uh, well, mostly it's for those that are in the UK. Although if you're in the US, you might find it interesting just to see what we have here. I know I certainly enjoy watching food hauls from other countries and getting extremely jealous about all of the stuff that you can buy. So when I was walking through Piccadilly Circus today in central London, I came across a whole food shop which I'd never been in before. I'm also going to do a little bit at the end from my local supermarket which is a Tesco's just to just give you some idea of the kind of things I picked up so that if you're in the UK and like me you've been struggling to find different things um, that are weight loss surgery friendly then hopefully this might help. Uh, so I won't give you the protein and the stats on everything but if there's something that you're particularly interested in then just leave it in a comment below and I will get back to you with all of the stats or the price or anything like that. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, steak I got that was pre-cooked from the food counters. It's called chimichurri bavet and it looks delicious and I bought it just to have in the fridge to snack on or you know I've got to go out tomorrow so I'll pack some um, to take with me. It's it's really nicely spiced, it smells beautiful, it's got coriander on it which is my favourite. I think in other countries you call that cilantro I think but this is what it looks like. It's quite pink, um, which I love. And yeah, so that's that. That was um, 29.99 a kilo, and I bought 330 grams, so it cost me about 10 quid for that amount of steak. So it's a bit on the pricey side, um, but I thought it'd be quite good just for a change. I got this chia seed mango. I don't know what you call it if it's a yogurt, a pudding, a dessert, a snack. Uh, this little tub has six grams of protein in it. Um, in the UK they call everything that's a dessert a pudding. It's quite weird. And I also got this one as well which is chia pudding apple and cinnamon. I, I don't know how much protein is in this one um, because it's just one that's come from the food counter so it doesn't actually have all of the stats and everything on it but it should be good. I did get a few protein bars as well. I'm not particularly a fan of um, using bars and things to boost up my protein. Um, but because of the long haul flight I've got coming up, I'm going to need to put some ready to grab protein sources in my uh, carry on bag. And meat uh, or salami sticks and things like that are not really a good idea because when you're going through um, kind of uh, the customs thing and stuff they just don't go through um, most of the time and I'm landing in Dubai I don't really want to take pork products so this is one of the bars I found which is a chocolate mint and it's called Builders and it's got 20 grams of protein in that bar uh, it's not overly big you can see there but I also got a chocolate peanut one which again is 20 grams of protein I'm not a massive peanut butter fan I think in the US you're a bit obsessed with peanut butter I do like peanut butter I prefer like it in cooking like a satay or something like that um, but those were the only two flavors that they had at that bar so I thought I'd grab both and see what I like then I got this one which is called Polson and it's got 12 grams of protein here it's a chocolate mint and in terms of the carb content it's a 50 gram bar and actually the carbs are really quite high. It's about 19 grams of carbs in that compared to 12 grams of protein. So not great, but when I'm on the plane, not a not a horrible option because they're not gonna, aeroplane food at the best of times is not that great, but I'm guessing on a long haul flight, particularly not that great for a uh, weight loss surgery patient. <clears throat> I also got another Pulsin bar, which is a maple and pecan uh, flavor and again similar stats less carbs in this one at 15 grams and 12 grams of protein Ooh, no 13 grams of protein I also got some packets of chia seeds it's not something I can find in my local supermarket at least not that I've come across when I've been looking I've never eaten chia seeds before but I hear them mentioned on your YouTube channels quite a lot so I'm gonna start maybe putting a spoonful in a smoothie 
this whole bag is 150 grams um, so per 100 grams it has 21 grams of protein so I guess you only use a spoonful at a time I don't know if you know and you're a chia seed fan uh, I'd love your tips and tricks I got these little packets of Coco Hydro, which is hydronated coconut um, water. So, doesn't that sound good? I love coconut. I'm obsessed with everything coconut. Um, when I'm traveling, which I will be soon, you can't take more than 100 mils of liquid in a container. So I thought these are going to be perfect. It's pineapple flavored as well. I love pineapple. Um, it has 72 micronutrients and five macronutrients, including potassium, magnesium, sodium, calcium, and zinc. And it's 80 calories for one of these little um, packets. I bought three of them. I've got three legs of my flight. Um, so three lots of eight hours. But to be quite honest, if they taste nice, I probably might just always get some of these and just have them hanging out in my handbag or something. The next thing I'm going to show you, I have absolutely no fucking clue what to do with it, but I could not pass it up. It looks so amazing um, and I've never seen anything like it before. Any guesses what it might be? <laughs> totally not going to guess. It's so weird. But I'm sure I'll find a use for it when I'm baking or on a treat or I have no idea. When I work out what you do with this product, I'll let you know if you're interested. Get out of town. It's only bee pollen. Look at that. Look at this. What the hell do you do with bee pollen? Anyway, it says on the top, 100% organic, natural bee pollen, the hive's essential nourishment. Enjoy as a snack, in yogurts, granola mixes or smoothies. I should have read the fucking cap before my big spill. Anyway, maybe I'll put a little bit in a smoothie to sweeten it up with my chia seeds. Now while we're talking about honey, I also got this Vita Complex Organic Honey, which uh, says on the label it's unpasteurized honey with pollen, royal jelly and prop propolis. Um, Renee, if you're watching this, what the hell is royal jelly and propolis? Do you know? Because you're the bee lady. Um, I love honey um, and I'm going to use that on some like coconut chicken with sesame seeds and honey that I want to make up this weekend. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes. Let's just get all of the sweet things out of the way. I'm not a sugarholic. Well, that's not necessarily true. I do love sugar, but I love savouries. Um, but I just thought this might be something quite handy to have in my cupboard. Uh, so if there's an occasion that I'm baking for, like a birthday cake or something like that, and I want to have a piece of it, then I can use this in replacement of other sugar. Um, this is coconut palm sugar. And it's unrefined dehydrated coconut blossom nectar that sounds bloody good and it says on the back if this if that wasn't already enough to whet your um, appetite it says enjoy the rich butterscotch caramel flavors of this coconut blossom sugar now it's got some keywords in there for me butterscotch and caramel <gasps> two of my favorite things and it says here you can use it as an alternative sweetener in drinks baking and desserts so that will be just a handy little thing to put in my cupboard. I got this peanut butter, so it's organic crunchy peanut butter. Um, I quite like making satay chicken and things like that. Um, or if I want to have peanut butter on a bit of cat, I don't know, what do you have peanut butter on? Celery. I'm a massive fan of celery. So this is a 500 gram jar, which is half a kilo or 1.1 pounds. For you Americans and anyone else using pounds, UK people, Canadian, do you use pounds as well? Um, but the protein stats on it is 25.6 grams of protein per 100 grams, so not too bad. Um, I like peanut butter in cooking, as I mentioned, like on chicken skewers, something like that. So that's what I'll probably use that for. I also bought some coconut flour which is also the same brand that made the peanut butter and the 
coconut sugar uh, and this is just some raw coconuts ground into flour um, that you can use for baking or pancakes or whatever you like just to make it a little bit more weight loss surgery friendly. In terms of proteins it's got 18 grams per 100 grams and 339 calories per 100 grams so it's not necessarily the best choice but surely better than refined white flour right? I also bought this peanut flour and again, you can mix that up into a paste like everyone does, I guess, with PB2. Um, I haven't yet seen PB2 here in the UK. I'm sure you can get it, but I just have not seen it for sale yet. Um, but you can use this in like satay sauces and curries and smoothies and cakes and all that kind of stuff. So that will be quite handy. It's a, a lot of this stuff is just going to be in my cupboard for as and when I might have an occasion to use it. And along the same lines, I got this sesame flour as well. Again, which you can make with pancakes or cooking or whatever it might be. I love sesame, so that would be nice. That's also 45% protein in the sesame one. And 15% fibre, so good things. So lastly on my Whole Feeds haul, I, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Try saying that five times really fast. Um, I bought things that I am beyond excited about. I can't wait to use them never seen anything like it before and i'm so excited i just want to use it right now or like just pour it down my throat passion fruit powder i am obsessed with all things passion fruit i love passion fruit mango and passion fruit is like my favorite flavor combination in the whole world uh passion fruits love 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 them so this is passion fruit powder it's freeze dried um, and ground down passion fruits and it's 100% passion fruits. In this packet there's um, two servings and each serving has 4.6 grams of protein. Who knew that passion fruit was so high in protein? I did not. I wonder if it comes from the seeds. Um, but it's, yeah, it's exciting. So you can add it to smoothies or cakes or um, other things which it reads on the back that you should not be adding it to like creme brulee, macaroons, um, and it, this is a New Zealand product and it also had a few other things like raspberry, strawberry. I did get the raspberry one as well. I actually got two passion fruit ones and I will be going back for more, I am sure. Next up, I'll quickly show you what I got from Tesco, which for those outside of the UK, why are you still watching? You can't buy any of this stuff. Or maybe you can. Um, seems like you can buy everything there. I just got a few things from our local, my local supermarket, which is literally outside my house. It's super convenient. After surgery, I'm a little bit lactose intolerant. I can drink a normal coffee now, which is really making my life. I can have like a coffee with a little bit of milk in it, but a latte or something like that is totally out. Um, so I've been using this milk, which is lacto-free whole milk from... Tesco's you can also get it in Whole Foods if you happen to be there although there's not that many Whole Foods around London or outside of London um, but this milk is just normal cow's milk but with the lactose taken out and it's really good um, I can't tell any different I've been using it in smoothies I've been using it on my Nespresso machine to make my coffee I'm really enjoying it I am a total fiend for sweet chilli sauce I have tried a little bit post-surgery I uh, had no problems taking it and I thought why not combine some sweet chilli sauce with some cheese. So this cheese is new in the UK. Um, I didn't see it last week when I went shopping but it was there today and I couldn't resist. So this is just a cheddar cheese with sweet chilli sauce and per 100 grams it has 22.8 grams of protein. I also got this uh, no added sugar chocolate, hazelnut chocolate. I've not really been craving chocolate but I thought I'll put this in my cupboard so if there comes a time and I'm craving some chocolate or I might um, break up a few pieces and put it in a bag and take with me on my flight um, just so that if a craving comes I can satisfy it with a little square of um, chocolate that is better for me than buying your kind of standard average chocolate and I did get one with nuts so it has a little bit more protein than other chocolate. Again thinking about my upcoming flights uh, I normally take like a, uh, a lolly, what do you call it, a sweet something like that to suck on during the plane sometime. I picked up some Werther's Original Sugar Free Candy, um, a lolly, we call it in Australia. I didn't know they came in sugar free. This is a whole new world to me, this kind of low sugar, sugar free shopping. I didn't know there was so much around. 
but I'm excited to try it and I hope it tastes at least nearly as good as the original, the Werther's original. Oh, oh. I'm almost done. Two more things to show you. So I bought these protein bars. Again, it's just peanut, peanuts and chocolate. Per bar it has 13.9 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein. But you know what, I'm okay with that. So that's not too far off. But just having one of these in my bag. On days like today when I had a few meetings, I left the house early. I was so back in my old habits today. I literally have not eaten yet and it's 10... 30 at night um and and that's how I was before surgery as well I, I I go out I run around all day I don't eat I don't drink I probably scull a couple of coffees and I need to be able to have something in my bag that I can grab that is at least going to get some protein in me um because yeah that's not cool I shouldn't be doing that and I need to um find tools and tricks in order to stop that behavior but stop it with something that is at least good for me. Um, so these bars, um, this packet for three, and I'll probably take some, again, of those on the plane. I'll probably take about five or six different bars. I'm not going to eat five or six different bars, um, I'm sure, but you never know what you're going to fancy now in this post-surgery life. Um, and I'd rather have them and not need them than want them and not have them. And lastly, if you are in the UK and you're looking around your supermarket, whether it's a Tesco or Sainsbury's, whatever, um, these I found in the Polish section of my of the fridge. And these are little Polish um, sausage cabana salami type that sticks. They're really quite thin. Um, I don't know if you can see there. That's one stick along here. Um, so it's super small. So these were only one pound, as you can see by the big one pound label. I didn't even need to verbalize that. But there's six sticks of salami in here and each stick has 11.3 grams of protein in it. So that's really exciting. When I um, compared like other salami sticks, they don't have anywhere near that level of protein and they're also a lot bigger um, and more filling. So this is just a handy like little snack on the go. So that's it for my food haul. I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions about any of the stats or prices or anything like that, just drop it below in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you're also in the UK and you're making videos, then please do a food haul. Um, Becky88WLS, I'm sure that's your username, Becky, um, has also done one before and, and that was really great. I got some good ideas about what I will be able to eat, where to get them from uh, after surgery. And so Becky, thank you, a belated thank you for doing that haul video. And anyone else in the UK, I throw open the gauntlet to you to also do a food haul. Uh, and maybe we can make some of these Yankees jealous with our food. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love.